Hi, my name is Tim Quinlan from Ocean Independence, and I'd like to welcome you on board the sailing catamaran Ifara, built by Sun Reef Yachts. She's 31.2 metres, that's about 102 feet length overall, and uh, she's got a beam of 11.96 or 39 foot 3. She was actually built back in 2009, uh, but she had a large refit in 2017. Built of aluminium, hulls on uh, with an aluminium deck, designed by Sun Reef Yachts, and her flag is Maltese. She's fitted with twin, twin Cummings diesel engines. She's got a range of about 4,000 plus miles, of course, depending on uh, sailing conditions. Uh, with a maximum speed of 14 knots and a cruising speed under power of around 10 knots. She has space for 12 guests in five staterooms. And I think space is one of the important things to remember about this particular yacht. Because as you can see from the images that we're supplying here, you've got a huge flybridge area. Which includes a smaller alfresco dining area, but very large sunbathing area as well as uh, a forward helm position with all the sail controls led aft to that position. Underneath the flybridge itself is a very large uh, covered cockpit area which has uh, an excellent seating area uh, and really is the main dining area uh, supplied from the main saloon forward which has a servery. The galley, by the way, is uh, on the starboard side, down in the starboard hull midships, between the crew accommodation. As I say, aluminium hull and superstructure, with uh, external internal design and naval architecture by Sun Reef Yachts. She's built to Bureau Veritas compliant, and she is MCA coded for charter. And of course, charter is a very important part of Ifara's life. Um, as I said before, the engines are twin Cummings. She's got approximately two and a half thousand hours on each engine, and she's also fitted with twin Kohler generators, 63 kVA each, and the generator hours are around seven and a half thousand. Obviously, the boat is in service, so these engine hours will vary. Picture here is of the main saloon forward of the cockpit area, which you can see the servery and quite a nice relaxed seating area. Looking forward now, the owner's cabin is actually on the starboard side there. And of course, one of the great things about being on this deck is it has an incredible view out over the ocean. The crew accommodation and galley, as I said earlier, is on the starboard hull and the guest accommodation is on the port hull. This is a great image here of the enormous cockpit area showing a chillaxing relaxing area as well as the more I suppose formal dining area again this is looking forward and in fact the, there is a more formal dining area forward of the main saloon which again has got um, a nice view out of the forward facing windows Boat's obviously fitted with air conditioning, uh, hydraulic winches, two hydraulic bow thrusters, various hydraulic windlasses and capstans, two anchors. There's an emergency mooring davit on the beam. As you can see here, this is the owner's cabin view, which is up on the main deck. Entertainment, she has a home cinema in the cockpit. The interior has a Bose sound system with a 40-inch LCD TV in the saloon, a Wi-Fi TV and Canal Plus Bose Hi-Fi system throughout the boat. As I said before, she has five staterooms accommodating up to 12 guests and the guest accommodation can be changed for doubles or twins according to guest requirements. So I think it's important to remember that uh, this sailing catamaran is very spacious, 
um, with both um, an incredible flybridge, um, which gives you a much better feel for El Fresco, and of course can be used whilst you're sailing, and also the aft cockpit area, which is very convivial, both for when you're sailing, but perhaps more importantly when the boat's at rest or at anchor, and you're enjoying the the yachting facilities, including uh, excellent access to the water, as well as access to the rest of the boat. For more information, including details of her extensive refit, uh, including paint job to the exterior, tenders and toys, uh, please don't hesitate to contact us. As I say, my name is Tim Quinlan from Ocean Independence. And uh, please don't hesitate to get in touch for more information. Look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Bye.